Hi, I'm going to talk about a cube and I'm going to show that the cube is as round as a sphere. So, how could it be a cube that has corners? be round like a sphere. What I'm going to show is that the space of piecewise linear homeos, homeomorphisms of the surface of Q which are measure preserving contains the group of symmetries of the sphere. In fact, this group, the group of piecewise linear homeomorphisms, is an infinite dimension Lie group. So the symmetries in this sense is much bigger than the symmetries of the sphere. Well, actually, the space of measure preserving homeomorphisms of the sphere is also an infinite dimensional Lie group. So, what I'm going to do is to start with a square and show that piecewise linear homeomorphisms of the square which are measure preserving contains the group of rotations. So I'm going to consider a new concept of rotation. So I consider two perpendicular axes two perpendicular directions, axis x and y, and I consider a square with center of the origin I can fill up the space with squares parallel to the axis X and axis Y and with the same center the corners will be on the line on a line passing through origin Okay, how do I introduce a piecewise linear homeomorphism and then, which is like a rotation, and then show that this rotation is measure preserving. So, on each of these squares, on one of them, I pick one of them, I consider this curve which is the perimeter of the square and I move on this curve in this direction as much as length alpha so I push upward and whenever needed leftward any point as much as length alpha for example, this point P will go to Q and the point Q will go to a point like R here such that the distance over the perimeter, the distance on the perimeter of the square is alpha. So this map can be seen that Okay, 
I defined a similar map using Thales on each square. So proportionally on each square I choose a length alpha prime for which I should move the perimeter. And by Thales this transformation which you can easily see it's piecewise linear and it's homeomorphism this transformation is measure preserving so I have the space of all rotations rotations by angle you can say alpha I angle alpha if uh, this would be the unit square with center of origin parallel to this axis X and axis Y okay so therefore I have rotations so this is a new concept of angle so you have the space of piecewise linear maps preserving a point preserving origin which are measure preserving you know the concept of angle is a concept of measure so the angle if you have an angle alpha it means that if you consider the unit circle and intersected with angle this area is the angle alpha so since this map is measure preserving I have the space of measure preserving rotations so I consider measure preserving rotations by angle alpha with respect to this axis of symmetry on top and bottom and on the sides I move by the length alpha so I get a piecewise linear map piecewise linear homeomorphism of the perimeter of Q which is measure preserving so I rotate on top and bottom like this picture and on the sides I rotate horizontally uh, I'm mixing the faces a part of like part of this face will go to the other one so this for example this face will go to something like this the front face will move like that this so I have the concept of rotation around a vertical axis with angle alpha so I have three different directions perpendicular to each other so I can rotate around them with any angle I want this means that I have the group of O3 orthogonal group transformations of the three-dimensional space the group of solid motions of the sphere inside piecewise linear homeomorphisms which are measure preserving so therefore square could be rotated like a circle by piecewise linear maps and cube could be rotated like a sphere by piecewise linear measure preserving maps since the group of these rotations is much bigger than O3 than the group of rotations of the sphere therefore I could say that cube is rounder than sphere 